Today we will talk about uh, discrete random variables. This is part two of uh, two video set here. Uh, suppose x is a discrete random variable and script x is the set of values of x. We know that uh, the values of x in this case would either be a finite set or a countably infinite set. Uh, today's goal would, it, would be to study some discrete random variables which have uh, the values script x to be a fi infinite set. We begin with the first example, which is the Poisson distribution. We say that x has a Poisson distribution with the parameter lambda greater than zero. If uh, x takes values in the set uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, all the way up to infinity, and the PDF, that is the probability that uh, x equals small x is going to be defined as e to the minus lambda times lambda to the x divided by x factorial. Uh, the first thing we'd want to check is that this is in fact a PDF. Uh, this follows from the fact that e to the lambda has the following infinite series expansion. Uh, that is the sum x going from 0 to infinity of lambda to the x divided by x factorial. So we can write 1 as e to the minus lambda times the infinite sum so that uh, this simplifies to uh, the sum x going from 0 to infinity of p sub x of x. Also notice that p sub x of x is greater than or equal to 0 for all x and this tells us that uh, p sub x is the legitimate probability mass function. Uh, if uh, uh, our random variable x has the Poisson distribution with parameter lambda, then the expected value of x can be calculated to be equal to lambda, and the variance of x is going to be also lambda. In this set, uh, case, the standard deviation is going to be square root of lambda. The Poisson distribution is often used to model phenomena where we are waiting for events to happen and are trying to count the number of events in a given time interval. For example, in the case of a Poisson process, we will use the Poisson distribution to calculate the probability of the number of occurrences in a given time interval t. We will next talk about uh, the negative binomial distribution. Uh, we say that uh, the random variable x has the negative binomial distribution with parameters r and p if uh, the random variable takes values in the set 0, 1, 2, 3, all the way up to infinity. And if for any x inside script x, uh, the probability mass function is defined as follows. The negative binomial distribution corresponds to the following experiment where we perform Bernoulli trials with the probability of a success. These are independent Bernoulli trials repeatedly until we get exactly our successes. Uh, the random variable x will then be defined as the number of failures that precede the rth success. Uh, in this case, the probability that x equals x is going to be the probability of exactly x failures before the rth success. The total number of ways we can have exactly x failures before the rth success corresponds to the uh, counting problem of choosing x spots in x plus r minus one possible places. This is the case because the last spot has to be a success and hence is fixed. Uh, this can be done in x plus r minus one choose x, uh, ways which is the same as x plus r minus one choose r minus one ways. So putting this back together, we notice that the probability of x equals x is going to be given by the following formula, which is exactly the PMF of the negative binomial distribution. 
if x has the negative binomial distribution with uh, parameters r and p, uh, the expected value of x is going to be r times 1 minus p divided by p. And the variance of x can be calculated to be r times 1 minus p divided by p squared. This distribution is called a negative binomial distribution because x plus r minus 1 choose x can be written as minus 1 to the y times minus r choose x. So putting this into the distribution function, uh, we notice that uh, p of x is going to be equal to minus 1 to the x times minus r choose x. So there is a typo in the video times p to the r times 1 minus p to the x. This is very similar to the PMF of the binomial distribution. Uh, we move on to our final distribution for today, which is going to be the geometric distribution. We will say that x has a geometric distribution with parameter p if x takes values in the set 1, 2, 3, all the way up to infinity. So note that unlike the previous two distributions, 0 is not in the set of values for x here. The PMF for this uh, distribution is given by p sub x of x equals p times 1 minus p to the, x, uh, to the power x minus 1. The geometric distribution is a special case of the negative binomial probability mass function. When uh, r equals 1, and we're looking at values of x equals 1, 2, 3, up to infinity. It is also one of the simplest uh, waiting time distributions where we can interpret x as uh, counting the trial at which uh, the first success occurs, which would uh, be the same as saying that we're waiting for a success. If x has the geometric distribution with the success parameter p, we can calculate the expected value of x to be equal to 1 over p, and the variance of x can be calculated as 1 minus p divided by p squared. Sometimes one can use the geometric distribution to model the lifetime or the time until failure of components. We will uh, wrap up this video uh, working out some relationships between discrete distributions that happen in the limit. Uh, we'll begin with the binomial hypergeometric relationship. Uh, let uh, capital N, capital M, and small n be natural numbers and let P equals M over N. Then the binomial uh, PMF uh, denoted by B i n x n comma p, uh, where n is the sample size and p is the uh, probability of success. Similarly, the hypergeometric uh, PMF is denoted by hyper, and it has parameters capital N, which is the population size. Uh, capital M, which is the number of successes in the population, and N is the sample size that we are going to sample from the population. In this setting, if capital N and M both go to infinity such that the quotient M over N uh, converges to P, we will have the hypergeometric PMF to converge towards the binomial PMF with parameters x, n, and p. That is to say that if the sample size n is uh, small compared to the population size, we can assume that the samples are approximately independently uh, constructed. Uh, the binomial Poisson uh, connection uh, will be next. Suppose bi uh, n x and p is the binomial probability mass function with parameters n, the sample size, and p, the probability of a success. And p o pois, that is p o i s x comma lambda, is the uh, probability mass function 
of the Poisson distribution with parameter lambda. In this setting, if we have n going to infinity and p going to zero, such that the product n times p uh, converges to lambda, we will have the binomial PMF to converge to the Poisson PMF. Uh, this is the same as saying that if n is large and p is very small, the binomial PMF is very going to be very similar to the Poisson PMF. Uh, another way of saying this is that the Poisson distribution is going to be approximately binomial for rare events, or the other way around, binomial distribution for rare events is going to be approximately a Poisson distribution with parameter lambda equals n times p. To wrap up uh, for today's video, we have spoken about three important distribution, the Poisson distribution, the bi negative binomial distribution, and the geometric distribution. And finally, uh, worked out the relationship between the binomial and the hypergeometric distribution in the limit and the binomial and the Poisson distribution in the limit. This is all for now. Take care of yourselves and I will see you around.